sad in wonder while the matured for me sing. Almost all the planets sing, and if I can at all let sing, only God, mighty In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your your spirit. spirit. We gather on this Trinity Sunday to celebrate the presence of God in our lives as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And as we listen to God's word this day, we again center our lives in that presence. For a moment, let us remember our need for God's mercy. Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have mercy. Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ, have have mercy. mercy. Jesus, in your spirit we find new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that in professing the one true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up to Mount Sinai, as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, the Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. 
Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways, encourage one another, agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned. But whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Today, Trinity Sunday, we celebrate the power of three. We have often wondered why does God have to have three persons in one God? The movement of God in our world in three ways. It seems hard to understand for us. But then the events of this past week or ten days have revealed again the power of three. We were two black and white in America. And for hundreds of years, black and white was the power of white over black. There was slavery, there was dominance, there was often, in recent years, injustice, prejudice. And then, when George Floyd found himself dying under a policeman's knee, a third way began to reveal itself. And after his death, suddenly people began to rise up. There was, shall I say, an awakening, a third way. Black and white together, marching, grieving, praying, protesting, peaceful in many ways. There were riots, but really it was a movement of peace in our country and really in the world. It was, as I would believe, the power of God's love moving among us and within us. This movement of God's love, as we have known in our own lives, often happens in three ways. We come in baptism, often unbeknownst to us as babies, and we are entered into a community, secondly. So we are brought into faith, but then a commun community gathers around us. But it probably doesn't really take full effect until that third movement of God in our lives. 
shall I call it that awakening, when something happens to us, some event, and we need it really again and again in our lives when the movement of God awakens us to a new awareness. Sometimes it takes just a moment when God reveals himself to us, but I would believe that in these recent months something has happened to us. God is calling us to reawaken in our faith. We have to kind of rethink how we pray and how we gather and how God reveals his presence. And hopefully there have been moments in your life these past uh, months to say, you know, God touched me in a very unique and special way just because of the circumstances we have found ourselves. So we find at this moment of our parish life that we are still, of course, distant, not in church. And I would suggest that we allow that power of three that we know is in our life. God has, first of all, created us, Father. God has come and lived with us and in us, in Jesus. And that awakening of the Spirit in our hearts is inviting us again and again. So let me suggest this week that each day you would take eight minutes and 46 seconds. It's a significant time for us in America these days. The time in which George lay dying and moving to new life. So may eight minutes and 46 seconds be a time for us this week. Sit in quiet for eight minutes and 46 seconds each day and join yourself to the movement of life that George knows and that we need to know in our own lives. And then I would suggest that next Sunday, which is the Feast of Corpus Christi, that you would come to this church and sit for eight minutes and 46 seconds, or longer if you wish, but especially that long, and allow the movement of God's Spirit to be, to awaken you to new life. So next Sunday, please again, watch the Eucharist online and pray and celebrate with us the Feast of Corpus Christi, and then come to church. We'll have the church open from eight until 12 next Sunday, there will be no services here, no other prayers, except your time of quiet before the Blessed Sacrament. We will have the Blessed Sacrament in the Monstrance for exposition for those four hours. So come, find a little place separate so that we want to reserve distance as you come here. It's a chance for you to see the church again and to pray in the church. And uh, remember that uh, you wear a mask, you know, as we do these days, so that we can gather in prayer in silence before the Blessed Sacrament as the community of St. John the Baptist. Christ, I believe, truly wants to awaken us, to bring his life in us to, new, to a new place. May God bless you this week as you pray with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, but being brought together as one in God. I believe in one God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of, of all things visible and invisible. And I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Through the grace of, your, of the Son, we learn of the love of the Father and are drawn into the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Through the Son, we come to the Father with prayers inspired by the Spirit. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church, that the unconditional love of the Trinity may strengthen and inspire each of us, deepen our love for one another, and help us to witness God's love and mercy to others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For a greater sense of community, that we may be freed from individualism and grow in our appreciation of each person and their role in the family of God, so that each person may know that they are appreciated and valued. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all who are unemployed, that God will ease their fears, give them courage to pursue new opportunities, and open new pathways to support themselves and their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our prayer. For a spirit of wonder and awe, that we may behold the marvelous deeds of God in nature, in relationships, and within ourselves, and be motivated to cooperate with God in greater commitment and sincerity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For university and educational leaders, that God will inspire them with new options for opening classes in the fall that will help students learn and keep students and faculty safe. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Norleen Rands, for whom we offer this Mass today, that God will be merciful and give them eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Eternal Father, receive the prayers of this people, filled with the Holy Spirit and offering Christ, your only Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed God be God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the one true and eternal Godhead, 
you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim. indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who loves the human race and who always walks with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your Church by the light of the Gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, that in a world torn by strife and racism, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. 
there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Pray for the coming of God's kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. Please offer a sign of peace to those around you if you are able or even if they are at a distance. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. We are brothers and sisters in spirit, found in 
your nations yet near to the Lord, each one belonging together now longing for the shepherd who gathers us all, gathers us all. We are many, yet we are one. We are separate, yet bound in his love. And together we are all his hands and his feet, bringing mercy and peace to the world. We are many in one. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity in undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.